Hi, my name is Ernie. I'm with Airbag Systems, and this morning I'd like to show you one of the finest air compressors on the market. In fact, my estimation, it is the finest air compressor on the market. Now, this is the smallest of the variable speed hydrogen air compressors. I want to show you how easily serviced this machine is, and a couple of the other features that make it one of the best compressors in my 35 years that I've ever sold. First thing, you notice the small footprint. Now this is a 10 horsepower air compressor, give you 43 CFM at least. It's variable speed, which means it matches exactly the amount of air you need. You get no peak in rush, no high peak charges in the electric company with this machine. You open this door, as you can see that gets you access to the front of the machine and the controls. And you really This is your service area right here. This is your inlet filter. So it screws off. This is your air oil separator. Unscrews. This is your oil filter. It unscrews. Here we see a valve already on it. That's your oil drain. This plug right here is your oil fill. And I don't know if you can see it from there, but right behind the oil filter, right here, there's a sight glass. That's your oil level. You can literally service this machine from start to finish in about a half hour. <clears throat> and that includes cleanup time. That's it. The silver part you see right here is the actual air compressor. It's a vertical unit, that's why it's so small. And yes, the vertical unit does work for a lot of our competitors will tell you, wow, they've had all kinds of problems with it. It's simply untrue. If the need should arise, and I say if because we've never had to do this, but if for any reason you would have to get into the machine itself, simply undo a nut here and a nut here, lift this line off. There are little push lock ferrules here for the tubing. Take those off. Take the air filter assembly off. Undo six nuts and lift the top plate off. After you've got the top plate lifted off, you lift the barrel off and you're there. Okay, if you're going to change the oil, you open this valve. Uh, we have oil in it. It's new oil. It's a brand new machine. You open this valve, drain the oil. While that's draining, go ahead and unscrew your oil filter. Take it off. Take the new oil filter. Put a little bit of oil on the sealing ring. Turn it back on. Fill the oil. When you put oil back in here, you look at the sight glass. You fill it halfway. Once it's halfway at the sight glass, you're done. Replace the plug. You service the machine. If you want to service the air filter, you simply turn the top, lift it off, lift the element out. Put the new element in, put the top back on. If you want to service the air oil separator, you merely spin it off. Put the new one back on, you're done. It's that simple and just about that quick. Here we are at the test stand for Airbag Inc. And one of their compressors is tested, hooked up, hooked up for electricity, hooked up for air, and run up the pressure before they're installed on the job. This compressor is feeding through this line into that tank just outside the door. They have 240, 480, whatever they need as far as voltage goes as required for the compressor. And it looks like it's run up to run up the pressure. And there's a variable speed.